Hello, how are you? 5562. Cool. Thank you. I'm, uh, well, I'm here at the uh, skydive place to test out the GoPro 8 versus the GoPro 7. I feel like it's a pretty close comparison, but, uh, well, I'm here to, here to test it out. What's up, buddy? Here you go. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Gonna do it up. Yeah, man. I, uh, man, it's bright out here. I think today's the first day ever that the GoPro 8 will be, uh, jumping from an aircraft, skydiving, which is, like, really, really exciting. And, uh, we're all just getting ready to go, and, uh, it'll be, uh, we'll put the, uh, we'll do the, well, insert. Let's go get it. So, we're about to go take this new GoPro Hero 8. I'm gonna take it on a skydive, see how she works. Seeing what it does on the ground, pretty impressed. Mounted it on. The mounts on the bottom are actually pretty sturdy. Not much wiggle. I'm very impressed yeah, with it. That's nice. That was one thing we were worried about before. Yeah. Because it's gonna break. What's gonna you know break? it's gonna break. What's gonna break? You that, tell me. That additional fault, piece of fault. Yeah. The wind pressure's gonna... I think it's gonna snap. <laughs> But mounting it on, I think it's pretty solid. We'll see what it does. Let's go jump out of a plane from 18,000 feet. Yeah. See what she does. Stood up that landing. Nah, man. If you haven't done this, you should definitely try it, man. On the other side of your fear, all the great things that's where they live. Fucking live it. That's what I like to hear, man. Okay. There's only one thing left to do now. Come back and do it again, baby, right do here. It, man. We're gonna be doing it on my own, man. That's right, man. Right yes, here sir. at oh, Skydive yeah. Space Center. That's what Come it get is. some. Sorry. How was that? Let's, uh, uh... Well? That was fun. Yeah? That was fun. As we can see, camera oh, held up. Perfect. Hey. To the wind. No issues. Can't wait to see the footage. Yeah. See that image stabilization from that Piper Smooth 2.0. What up? What's up? Uh, Come on in. Okay, so this is Brent. She skydives because we're all insane out here in Florida. Um, he jumped with the GoPro 8. We're gonna give his, he's gonna give his, not me, he's gonna give his honest review of jumping with a GoPro 8. 
So guys, the Hero 8, we sat down, we watched the footage from it. It's ridiculous. I have to say, hands down, it's the cleanest, crispest footage I've ever seen. The stability of that hyper, uh, hyper smooth 2.0, it's just... Yeah, it's stupid. Dude, you compared it to a Hero 4 side by side, the 4 shakes like crazy in comparison to the 8. The 8 is just like... It's Night and day. Yeah. Completely night and day. The physical aspects of the camera, I gotta say, I actually really like it. Okay. I know you guys had talked about Parker. some of the things that you guys did yeah. not care for, or so you thought, after a closer inspection of that, and how they actually mount on, I'm actually pretty stoked with it. Yeah. I actually like it. When you, you can squeeze the prongs together, and yeah, you can feel the flexibility, but... With the GoPros, you have the three prongs that go into the two yeah, prongs. Yeah. So when you're pinching it together, it's just going to seal in there nice right. and tight, as we saw. There was no movement. Yeah, I remember that. Very little. Yeah. We checked it out on the camera, on my helmet, and everything like that. And you Super screw stable. it down, too. Like, yeah, yeah. You, do, you, you definitely want to screw it down tight so that way it doesn't roll forward or back. Right. I mean, what do you, you think of the... Like, it's metal, probably, now, isn't it? Yeah, like, part of the housing on it seems to be metal. Like, right. the whole outside edge... The front and the back seems like it's not necessarily metal, but it's got that rubberized on it. Yeah. It might be metal underneath it, right? but it might be plastic, but I know that outside edge feels like it's metal, and if it's not metal, it's some heavy-duty plastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can feel a weight difference between the, the 7, seven and, and the 8, eight right. for sure. The eight's a little bit heavier, it's a little bit more streamlined, but right. it definitely, in my opinion, right. is the best camera that they've put out so far. So, you like it? <laughs> I do. I do. It? I do. Yeah. I do. Um, the features that we're finding out that we can do with them right. is just amazing. The fact that we're live streaming right now onto Facebook. And we're recording it on the SD card. And it, right. Exactly. Yeah, right. we're recording it on the SD card while doing that. Dude, it's ridiculous. Yeah. They, it's unheard of. You Can you do that with like your, AD, D's, with AD. your ADDs or anything I, like I, that? It has Wi-Fi. I don't think I can stream to Facebook on it. I would do that would be great though. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. I mean this camera is getting to the point. And, and it has like different lenses in it. You know, it has that like twenty seven millimeter, it has yeah. like the super wide is super wide. Super yeah, that view. sixteen mil that sixteen millimeter, it, yeah. But it's in, I mean it caught caught the ed edge of your helmet when yeah. I was setting it up. And that was what, an inch yeah inch and a half maybe then, in front. And then we so the shot that is actually shown in the vlog is regular wide. Yes, regular yes. wide view at 60 frames a second at 2.7k which is insane. stupid good yeah. and i'm pretty sure this can go up to 240 frames a second that, or, that's, but i think that's only at like 720 or 1080 i don't quote me on that we'll we'll look into that right though, because I'll even pop all so stuff that's up. that's awesome yeah i know it goes that. to 120 i know it goes to 120 that slow motion is just yeah. ridiculous the fact that you can the time lapse on this too yeah is super cool it's awesome like and like so you know, like the time lapses they do on these vlogs, they're just regular footage sped up. Yeah. But it has a time lapse feature, which I want to try. Cool. You would buy it? Uh, yeah. All right. Especially the fact that it's the same price as the seven, and so far from what I'm seeing of it, it's not having all the same issues that the, the seven was having. Yeah. I know some people have gotten lucky with their 7s, some people have not. Now there are a couple things that I would definitely change about this camera that you guys did hit on. Okay. Which is the the side open is better than the bottom open from yeah. the 7 to be able to access the battery right. and the card. But... The card's in a horrible spot. It is. You have to pull... For us people who do skydiving for a living, where we're actually going and we're filming tandems and filming skydives, yeah. and we're on back-to-back -back loads, and we have to pull our card out, drop our card down, put another card in, it's really not the most effective thing. Also, that door doesn't open 90 degrees. Have you noticed that? I did it notice that. It like... It looks like it shouldn't be an issue though, because the, the, how small the battery is, the way that it, it'll just like, pull out, it'll just kind of yeah. tip when you pull it out. That I don't see too big of a deal with, but the SD card. The is, SD card yeah. for me and what I do on a daily, where I've got to literally land, pull my card out, get ready for the next one. It's not the most convenient. And I feel like that's like any extreme sports, not just skydiving. Like especially guys who are constantly doing footage. Yeah, it will. If, if you're keeping the same card in there all day, then that's one thing. Like but this, if you're having yeah. to swap out cards 
consistently. Yeah, it's, hard. it's it, and but the battery's fast. easy to get out now. Like if you have to swap out batteries, yeah, it's, that's it's, nice. it's looser in there. It feels like it, it definitely does. slides a little bit smoother yeah. than the other ones. But it's not spring loaded, which is nice because I remember one of them was, and that spring would like deteriorate over time, yep. and then it wouldn't pop out, and you would have to like smack it a couple catch times. Catch a bottle, to get your camera. Yeah, exactly. You know, so okay, cool. Alrighty, well, come on. Well, uh, that. That's Brent. He's gonna be in the vlogs a lot more. Um, anyways, so like, the GoPro 8 is great. The overheating kind of sucks. We just finished a live stream. I figured out one issue. Feel that? It's not super hot. Yeah. Ooh. Ouch. Yeah. Now GoPros are known to get hot. Yeah, but that, that is not great. Ooh. GoPro, if you could figure out that overheating thing, I... That would be great. Anyways, I need to run back to the, uh... Back to the office and get some other work done. So, uh... Time to... Time to take a... Time to take a drive. Back to the, uh, back to the, uh, back to the office here. Gonna get some work done. And, uh, yeah, gonna get some work done. I got the vlog edited, almost edited. Can, can you, um, I mean, it wouldn't, it can't be done since this is in it. And anyways, I'm hungry. I thought that this would be a pretty good idea. Yep. Looks like I'm not the only one with this idea. 